We will discuss Koca Bey press fit technique in anterior cruciate ligament reconstruction. We did not have any disclosures. In this video, I will describe a tibial tunnel preparation method and the use of patellar tendon tibial bone graft in the implant-free tibial press fit technique. Patellar tendon length is measured uh, as described by Miller et al. A longitudinal incision is made between the lower pole of the patella and the tibial tubercle. The tendinous portion of the graft is gently stripped from the patella. The bone block of the graft is transformed into a trapezoidal shape using a ronger. The bone block is shaped with a base width of 11.5 to 12 mm and a tendinous part of 8 mm. The tendon end of the graft is attached to the adjustable loop device via baseball whip stitch stir and represents the femoral end, while the bone block represents the tibial part. Then the tendon end of the graft is made tubular so that it enters the femoral tunnel. The ACL femoral footprint is located and the remaining soft tissues are excised. By using flip cutter, a 25 mm femoral socket is created with the same diameter as the tendinous part of the graft. The shuttle stir is taken through the joint into the anterolateral porter for later use. Guide pin is passed through the 50 degrees angle TBL guide targeting the attachment site of the ACL. The 8 mm reamer is advanced over the guide pin until the tip of the reamer is within 3 to 4 mm the tibial articular surface under fluoroscopic control. After that, the tunnel is expanded with a 10 mm dilator over the guide pin within 3 to 4 mm of the tibial articular surface. The tibial cortex is rimmed for approximately 5 mm length with a 12 mm diameter reamer so that the broad edge of the bony end of the graft can pass through the tibial cortex. Finally, the opening into the tibial plateau is enlarged with an 8 mm reamer over a guide pin. The end of the passing stir is brought out through the tibial tunnel. The tendinous part of the graft is first passed through the tibial tunnel using an adjustable loop cortical device, then inserted into the femoral socket. In order to compress the graft into the tibial tunnel, the graft is hammered with an impactor until the bone plug is 3 to 4 mm from the tibial articular surface. The knee is flexed to 20 degrees and the graft tensioning is performed 